Hello guys and welcome back to the Scotic Gnome Forest. I'm Night the Gnome and today, finally, we're going on with the plot of the chapter 3 of Reverse. I can, I can do it. I can go. I have time. I have done everything I needed to do. And what is this? Scattered pamphlet. Okay, they fall like snowflakes, bringing with it horrible news and whispers of temptation. Okay, let's go in, I guess. Oh, I want to go on with the main plot so bad. Oh, uh, hello, yes. Madam Vice President. Oh no, these two again. Holding a chess piece of bishop in her hand, Constantine doesn't ever bother to look up. Come in. Hello. Here is the Mon State Department report. Any news I shouldn't miss? The mainstream media in Europe are on our side and have no extra coverage on the issue. In fact, as long as there is no tangible evidence, they won't act upon this rashly. Okay. The storm hasn't come to this area. Now I'm wondering, maybe I totally forgot about this, maybe they already said this, maybe I'm stupid, I don't know, but actually, where is the San Pavolum Foundation? It's like the entire structure is in a sort of limbo, I mean, it's actually located somewhere in the real world, but it's not affected for some reason. I... Uh, maybe I missed this part. For most of the people, what Manus Vendicte has said in their pamphlets are totally unfounded and ludicrous. Well, good for you, I guess. Constantine gets on her feet. They have been making quite a scene here and there, as I heard. Indeed. <laughs> Lately, the Manus Vendicte is enjoying themselves uh, pretty well. Yes, residents nearby have all received their pamphlets. Even the SPDM has reported some cases. Mm. Affected by the time reversion, our manpower and resources have become much less than before. It will take us a long time to complete the citywide air defense system. Oh no, this is all bureaucratic uh, stuff. Were these pamphlets airdropped? Yes, most of them were. Give me a visual of the aerial carriers of Manus Vindicte. These are Latias. Oh. Their sizes are about four to six feet, covered mostly in black. What is this? Is a new creature? Water storage apparatus, uh, pectoral wings. Uh. Oh my god, uh, he looked very scary just from the sketch. They have a similar appearance to manta rays and have good maneuverability and explosive power. Thank you. I was uh, thinking they remind me of some creature, but I, I, cal I couldn't recall the name. Olidia 04. This type of Olidia has limited operation range and cannot take a long haul. They are too dependent on the water. Indeed. According to our report, they usually leave after a three hour hovering every day. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Z, Ooh. where do you see fit for this bishop? Wow, I don't know why. The chests are so aesthetic. It is literally one of the most aesthetic games of all. Every time they use it in video games, I can help it, but think, ah, now I want to play chess. Actually, I'm pretty good at it, I think. <laughs> hmm. I think it should go to B5. Yes, mm -hmm. I thought the same. Okay. Adequate for low altitude aerial reconnaissance surveys. But they are only found in the southern part of Cameroon and difficult to capture. It is a very rare arcane species. Okay, like in every uh, every time you use the chess uh, as a metaphor, every piece of chess uh, corresponds to someone. So, who is Vertin? <laughs> what piece of chess is Vertin? Sending this many Olidiaos on such short notice. I would presume Manus Vindicte has already established a command post somewhere nearby. Probably. I don't see how this is helpful. 
As they said themselves, the storm is coming. What do you say of this new command post of theirs? Like our headquarter, is a building that will not be affected by the storm. Oh wow, they, they're actually responding to my question right now. <gasps> they need to make sure that Oletis won't be affected by the storm. Okay. I think you know what to do, Miss C. Wait, uh, why the Manos Vindicta don't want that the creatures uh, affected by the storm? Uh? No, maybe I missed some pieces. Take over the initiative. Find their location. Exactly. Send a scout squad to follow the Elidiaos and get the others to search in the water catchment areas within 100 miles from here. Gasp! They're trying to find the Manos Vindicta, eh? We are going behind their front lines, just like this bishop. Ooh. I will forward this to the secretary of the army. Make a copy to the Pax House as well. Copy that. Copy that. What about the school's air defense? There have been rumors in school. I'm worried the students might be affected. Send Zeno's air force trainees to the school. Affirmative. Our ladies are crafty creatures. I will pick those who are equipped with field experience. Okay. Wait, are they actually a bigger creatures? I mean, you use them just to spy? Like some sort of bird? Or you use them as a mount? How cool would it be to have a giant monster mount in this game? That would be crazy. <laughs> Constantine does not respond. She stares at the Black King on the board and broods. We are leading ourselves into a death trap. Probably. We need someone to forecast the storm. And who is that someone? If not uh, Bertin? <laughs> Finally got to let my baby SU-01 VE out for a ride. It feels right. Who is it? What? This is where they train those little lab rats? Oh, uh -huh. five canteens. Way better than that stupid Zeno. Okay. Boy, Lilia, we don't have the signal yet. Lilia. Take off. I never met Lilia. Okay, this is my first time. Get down here now. Nobody cares, dude. There will always be a signal. Okay. Either you move your ass. Or swallow my exhaust! <laughs> wow. Are you half um, German? I guess. She, live, she lives like a wind. Outrageous. For once I forgot my rabbit's foot and I got a side steam of her. No. I force train it. Okay. He looks at the lookout tower from a distance. Behind him, dangerous approach, and yet he has no idea. <laughs> Oliatus, two of them, are charging toward him from his blind spot. Andrew, oh! What? Oh my god! As soon as Andrew lower his head, Lilias Su 01 BE rips the Oliatus abdominals with a swift and clean cast. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up and take your broom. Oh wow. Um, okay, Captain. See those dark bats there? Let's see who come back with more trophies. Oh wow. Loser, loser. Bot the coaster. Cosa? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I was so surprised I said it in Italian. <laughs> loser, loser. What the, what the ca coaster? What does it mean? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's probably a... A slogan. <laughs> Boy, hey, okay, Lil Lilia, so you're a, a crazy little girl. Let's go. Lies with you. Oh, wow. They're beautiful. I love them. Is this spider like... Uh, some sort of uh, thingy by the Manus Vindictae, like uh, some sort of spy. It looks like a hand more than, than a spider, a hand with eyes. It's very crazy. Okay, buff hair. 
attack and this and then Take do this. It easy. Take it easy. One. Okay. Okay. Buffer. Attack this. And a little debuff there. Until the torch is lit. Okay, fantastic. I forgot to change position again. Don't be so hard. It's normal administration. <laughs> okay. Pa 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 pa. Handle it gently. The moment of silence. The moment of silence. Try for free. Try for free. Opla. Benefit from reading. Hmm. Oh no, more monsters. Okay. Maybe I need to heal you. Maybe. Take it easy. The buff, the buff. Flying handbag for only three thousand carpentes. Okay. Oh wow, cold. Is there a status? Oh my god, they didn't notice it. Uh, they look like a little fit. Uh, all the monsters uh, in uh, reverse are so cool. Uh, it's unbelievable. Oh, you also are a target. Uh, I didn't notice. The moment of Took this and then Take this and then this. We walk in long hey! Flying handbag for only 3,000 Capodontis. Okay. Oh, we have some ultimate. Uh, nice. Very nice. I'm trying to speak of truth. Bloody prom. Let's go. The law is above all else. The scale of your soul has tilted. The balance One. needs to be restored. Opla. Fantastic. Nice. Ok, almost dead. Let's go. Whoop! Tu 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 tu. Ah! Apologies, but do you have any last wishes? I didn't kill the eyes. The hand uh, with eyes. I was supposed to kill that? Or no? Oops. Well. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> George the Oak. George the Oak. Ah. Is this George the Oak? <laughs> uh, a beautiful tree that brings a shade and reassuring blessing. Ok. A wrinkle knot is passing in the class. It begins its journey from the second to last row and soon visit very seat in the classroom. It doesn't have a particular destination. The next student is where it would go to. On the back of it says open it. Um okay. Isabella, oh you're so cute! My aunt <laughs> is called Isabella. <laughs> Lol. The amount of me and um, coffee, actually. After reading it, Isabella founds the note, with an odd look in her face. She passes it to the student sitting next to her. Hmm, oh. who are you? From whom? No idea. Quit asking. Just open it and pass it down. Okay. I want to know what is written in that thingy. What do you do? Just waste more time taking notes. I will... E... What the hell? No, guys, you can't do this to me. I'm already dyslexic. I can't read... Uh... No. If... Uh, also... Curious... About the world outside... 
Nine Tonight under George the Oak. I guess. <laughs> oh my god. He unfolds the note. His face suddenly goes pale. There's only one sentence on the note written in a crooked font. Fuck, they were about to, to tell me. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> okay. Lol. If you're also curious about the world outside, Nine Tonight under George the Oak. Ah, okay. I got it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Oh wow. Hey, Burden! Who is Joseph? What do you want from Burden? Hmm? Baby. Did you write this note? Probably. He waves his fist. Oh, a knot in his grasp. Two more students come up to Burden. Yes? Are you coming? <laughs> no. Ah, okay. You are gonna shine my shoes for the rest of the week. What the hell? What do you mean? Oh no, wait, uh, why would they do that? Why did you step on, why did you step on something? Why would they do that? Why? Because of this nonsense you wrote. What nonsense? Seems like you need another lesson in the guardhouse, huh? Oh no, no, please don't leave her alone again inside that. I have the accusation and the evidence. Surely you don't want one of the instructors to have it, right? Uh, okay, Vertin, it's time to fight. <laughs> These kids, uh, they don't deserve to be around anymore. So that's uh, what you mean. Yes. I don't care, Joseph. You can deal with it as you want. Gasp! Come on, cut the crap. Shine my shoes for a week or cry in the guardhouse again. And how do you know she was crying? I mean, you have, do you have the proof? She wasn't crying at all. I'm messing with you. How would you prove that I wrote it? You! Hmm. That's not what my writing looks like when I use my right hand. Oh, okay. That's very smart of you, Vertin. You little foxy girl. Now you are the one holding the note. I could say it's you who wrote it, right? <laughs> Gasp. I'll call the instructor over for you. You jerk! Joseph's face and Eggers get red. He jumps on Vertin at full straight. Oh no. Bro! You freak! You're just a bastard that can't even cast an incantation! You are a freak! Go on, you two! I want her legs broken today! What the fuck? Bro, you need to chill! What the hell did she do to you? Okay, let's go. I'm ready for now. Wow. What a bunch of kids are nothing. I I've seen so much worse worse. Oh wait, why are they so big? I mean look at my characters. They're so tiny. <laughs> what the fuck? Just that's why. Let the show begin. Oh, gasp. Oh, my apologies. I'm so sorry. No. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm listening. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Woohoo! Everyone has the same destination. Mm hmm. Ah. Begin! Ha ha! Bang! One down! I'm so sorry. Foolish! And others on the way. Oh fuck. Okay, fantastic. I have the ultimate. This shall be my only act. Let the show begin! Step it up, Let's go. Pam pam pam! Aha! Oh no! 
Why there are so many kids? Well, okay, round two, baby. No worry here. Ha ha. Let's go. Everyone has the same destination. Illusion is nothing. Illusion is nothing. Okay, another one down. Who is the next? It's illegal. I don't know if it's illegal. Please, hold your breath. Ooh. I'm in the right place. I'm listening. You are in the right place. Bang. You're awake. Your family asked me to get here. Mm -hmm. Opla. And I will take you back. What's your wish? And I will take you back. Okay. Please go on. Please go on. Do, 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 do. Stupid child just want uh, some slap uh, on their ass. <laughs> Lol. On their cheek. Mm. Aha! Full attack, it's almost uh, finished. Bang! 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 Haha! <laughs> Spectacular ending. Apologies, but do you have any no, no. wishes? You don't need apologies of anything. Oppa. Ole, done it. Children scattering and run away. I need to hide quickly. No, baby, are you okay? There is an empty classroom right next to her. A good place to hide. The clamor subside. They always restore its peace gradually. Okay, so Vertin was bullied so much when she was little. Just because she was strange and couldn't use arcan arcane power. That's the point. Now that I think about it, did I Vertin use the once arcane arcanist power? I don't think so. That's really interesting. She can survive the storm without a, a without a problem, but she can't cast Arcanism spell. Okay, let's continue. Ah, to be continued literally. Okay, Appendix to Foundation Potion Management Second. Bitter Moot. Warning. Appendix. Second bitter moot is an Arcanum drug. What? Of schedule second. Arcanum drug possession license in the San Pavoil Foundation is required for its possession. Organization without the license must not produce or store the drug. The drug is a concentrated solution for external use. When used, the solution should be diluted with pure water until the concentration reduced to the recommended range. 45%, uh, 65%. The concentration is adjustable depending on the condition. Maximum safe concentration 77%. Active ingredient. Screaming mandrak root, flying squirrel bile, toad liver, two-headed snake tail scale powder, three-year-old belladonna wool plant, leech, Ok, caution, use a copper cauldron from the product, appearance and property, a dark blue or dark brown concentrate solution with a pungent smell and extremely bitter taste. Use, the, dro the drug can cause mental stability. Can cause mental stability. Ok, and the bitter taste can cause temporary vision disorder and speech disorder. High concentration can cause mild paralysis and even hallucination. Nowadays, the drugs used in criminal penalty has been abolished and it's mainly equipped by the patrols and branches of the St. Paul Foundation. During daily patrols or under extreme circumstances mentioned by the Emergency Defense Code of St. Paul's Foundation, the drug can be used as an effective suppression method against individuals or, gr or group. Okay, so I'm taking a guess. If you're showing me this right now, is because I'm going to face 
something, uh, someone, uh, or some situation uh, with a drug. That would be very unpleasant, by the way. Oh, Captain! Oh, wow! Oh, did... Whoa! Why he seems so magical? Okay, want to see it. Gosh, I've never done anything this wild and nobody has understood me this much. Oh, okay, let's go. What will happen? There is a huge dark hole in the track of George the Oak. The hole connects to the ground, creating a natural fortress for animals. This oak has been here for 700 years. It has witnessed each of the parade ceremonies. Red squirrel and woodpeckers live in this hole all year round. Now the ring is kicking a corn inside. The clattering sound echoes in the huge, wo the huge wo hole. Okay. Do you think they're gonna come? Hello, boy! I missed you. I was, I was preoccupied. You wouldn't get out of the building. What if, in the end, no one shows up? Well, in that case, shame on them. I guess. He paces in anxiety, kicking the acorns all over the place. Maybe nobody cares what's outside the school. Maybe everyone's happy with what they've learned in the school. I don't know. Oh, I mean, probably they couldn't know. If they lived only inside the school, they wouldn't be able to know about the, the outside world. But I, do, but I guess everyone is curious about the outside world, is it not? At least there will be two, I guess. Isabella. When she just got into the school, she was crying all the time and wanted to go home. Maybe she will come. Baby. But this is something no one can guarantee. It'd be good enough as long as none of the instructors show up. <gasps> Verdin! L look outside! What happened? What happened? <gasps> Spot of light, just one or two of them, through dim as the fireflies emerge in the dark, followed by many more of those. Like stars in the night sky, the light move quietly and slowly, merging into a milky way leading here. They are here! My god, that's... Oh, and they... Everyone is here! So cool. I love all, all this. How come there are so many of them? Those are familiar faces. The silent one during the days. Yeah. Mr. Junior. Isabella. Penny. Matilda. You are all here. Who is Penny? And why have is the only one with the bracket here? Counting the ring classmate in half of a class has gathered here. They jump into the three hole, one after another. The spacious hall suddenly become rather crowded. After everyone has settled down with a place to sit or stand, there are sudden tension in the air. They look at each other, after all. This is a, a gathering that has been strictly prohibited and will be regarded as unethical and evil. There is a long, breathtaking silence. Eventually someone comes forward with a question. Fairton. You gathered us all here. Are you going to hold out against the principal? Ooh, gasp. Hello, Mesmer. What? <laughs> what? Absolutely not. I never thought of that. <sighs> That's a relief. I was so nervous. That was a harsh question you asked, Mesmer. But thank goodness. Gasp, that would be really bad. After I'll be the first one out of here if it were a rebellion. This peace lover is not up against anyone. Oh. <laughs> I'm so scared because every time there is a, a happy moment with children in, story like, in stories like this, something really bad is about to happen. I'm sure of it. But what is it you want? We, we came here in secret. 
You really adorable, Isabella. I didn't expect so many of you. So many of you in school are just like the ring and me. Want to know more about the things outside. I mean, fair. When you're locked up in a strange place where they say to you that your life purpose is to sacrifice yourself, I guess everyone wants to know more about the world, the world outside. Those rumors. Have you heard? What rumors? Yet we are prohibited not only to say that word, but also to speak about anything related to the outside world. And, and that's very bad. Why the foundation want to raise the children like this? I mean, not in let them interact with the outside world. If they're going to go in the outside world for help uh, other peoples. Our life is all about training, peace and mankind, nothing else. Soldiers. We have different hair colors, speak with different accents and cast different arcane skills. But the student handbook asks us to forget about all of this. It aims at eliminating our differences and ensuring conformity in the school. We have found some pamphlets with poems from the outside world printed on them. This is something we've never been taught in class. Ooh. That poem inspired me with so many things. The poem uh, you read at the end of the last episode, I guess. We are the chosen ones. We are meant to be the backbone of the primary defense for mankind. Yes, but how can you be the defense of the mankind if you don't know the word of the mankind? I mean, that's so strange. But all of you here today must still be curious about who you really are and what is in the world outside. I mean, what I'm wondering about is uh, if they are raised uh, as soldier for protecting the world, but they don't know the world. How can they voluntarily want to be a soldier? I mean, if you, yes, if you raise them since they are so little, then they think they don't have a choice. But probably it doesn't it doesn't matter. But at the same time, if you let them know about the world, wouldn't them be more uh, happy? to be like soldiers, uh, to protect the thing they love uh, about the world and so on. I mean, they would have more motivation, actually, to do what they're doing, uh, I guess. But at the same time, maybe they just uh, found out uh, that other possibilities uh, and that the other kids, uh, unlike them, are just playing around uh, and be kids uh, and so probably they wouldn't be sold there anymore, okay? I I made a question and I respond to myself afterward. Fantastic. <laughs> we cannot leave here, but we can know the truth through another way. In what other way? Fellow students, before entering the school, where did you live? What kind of life did you lead? Did people there cast incantations too? Did they like scorn just as we do? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. By piecing together our memories from all over the world, we can rebuild the very world outside. Oh, that's a very cute idea, Vertin. This is actually a very cute idea. Whoa. So that's how you know the world. This is the safest method we can think of, given that none of us are leaving school. Like, uh, if they don't let know the world, uh, then we together uh, build uh, our own world uh, with our different, uh, with the, the different experience uh, we remember uh, before coming to the foundation. That's so cool. Uh, I tuck some of these pamphlets in my pocket and stained glass balls an instructor left to me when he resigned. I'd say. These are a part of the outside world. Oh, whoa. Shh, silence! No one speaks before Matilda. Okay, sorry. Go on, Matilda. My name is Matilda Buanish. I am the most senior transfer student in the school. In fact, I was too senior to be taken in, if not for that special approval. <laughs> that is to say, I remember the outside world a lot more than you do. I guess, actually. Yes, because you came much more later than others. 
Ooh. I... I'm Isabella. I was taken here at four. So, I don't remember much of the outside world. I can recall Mother Superior used to like wearing floral dresses in pale blue and... Mm -hmm. We don't have much rain from where I grew up. The cloudless sky stretched out over her head and fell into the horizon. Ooh. Our family has been psychologists for generations in the Arcanum world. Animal magnetism was invented by my grandfather's 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 grandfather. <laughs> oh, many grandfathers. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, now I'm, I'm having a PTSD. <laughs> This uh, scene uh, look uh, so much uh, like uh, the end of the chapter 2. I don't like this at all. Why the black screen? Why everyone talk about uh, their memories uh, right, right now like this? No, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm scared. This... But I'm not interested in Arcanus. Mm. They're all mad people and we had to treat them after all. They look scary. Oh, and there was a big football field near my house. Bear spots were on the turf everywhere, and there was also rust on the goal. Ooh. Slow down! Slow down! What's football? And goal? I can't follow! Oh, baby. He's writing everything down. The ring takes down everything. The paper beneath his pen has been densely packed with words, and the note goes on for pages. Everyone is trying hard to recall the days before coming to school. They feel warm and even united. They've never been so united before. They have different past, but now face the same fate. This experience makes them who they are. A beautiful poem. Wow. Isabella matters at the pamphlet. I want to sing it. Oh, sing it. She suddenly stand up, which started the group. Sing it? How? To the melody of her school song. Okay. See, each word is well matched to the rhythm. Okay. What a coincidence. Nor happiness, nor majesty, nor fame. Nor peace, nor strength, nor skills in arms or arts. My, they do go well together. Oh, wow. Shepherd knows herd, so blindness makes tame. Oh, oh my god. I'm so happy they start to sing. As a lover of musical, this is a fantastic moment. Birds that goes not one beating of the hearts. They all stood up with excitement. Oh my god. They're really going to sing. God, each syllable is joining the notes so well. Is this a sign I'm in by destiny? Are we told to, told to? Let's sing it as a great ceremony. <sighs> God. Oh, no, 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 that's wool. That, that, mm, um, no, I think that actually the worst idea possible. I don't think singing this this version of your song during an official parade of the foundation is a good idea at all. I'm scared. Oh my god, now that I think about it, uh, the cover of the chapter 3 is a choir of children. Impossible. We will definitely get caught. Indeed. But in doing so, the big head will hear our voices. Oh no. They will come to realize that we we have this wish. And that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. They will understand us, won't they, Burton? After all, it is them who brought us up and you cared for us. Indeed. They're going to be very angry. And I'm very scared about what will happen to you. They may be upset or blame us, but let's give it a try. Oh no. In the darkness, their hand joined in silence. A song. 
sounds much better than it was before. Oh, gasp. Because they, now there are your feeling inside it. Uh, that's why it sounds better, but it's not a good idea at all. Oh! Narrator! It's you again! A white bed. So plain and simple as if it were depicted solely in lines. A pale pillow that might not bring you sweet dreams. The light sheds in and fills half of the room. I hate the guard house. Looks not bad. I hate the guard house. Oh, if you like it, I would suggest you go check your brain. LOL. Listen, I don't know whether you have an eye for art. To be honest, I wish you knew nothing just like me. Stop laughing like a fucking idiot. This undoubtedly is art. It's another art revolution in the 60s. Are we talking about art now? Look what humans have done with the help of their little rational brain. Their philosophy intertwines with aesthetics, and together the two subjects stagger ahead till today. Till the past. I still need to know who is the narrator. I want to know it so bad. Then complexity replaced simplicity. One civilization prevailed another. Suddenly, one day, when they looked back at where they came from, they found what was left behind had turned into a bloated cadaver. Mm. Fortunately, it's not too late. The solution is simple. They first made light of the physical objects, then simplified concepts, and now they are wiping out emotions and forbidding metaphors. Everything has returned to the most substantial state. Let a square be just a square. Nothing else. Let a square be just a square. Simple math. Indeed. Even a child knows how to do a subtraction this simple. Minimalism. I have to say, this is a good thing. It proves to the entire universe that the intelligent primates are not that incurable. You like minimalism, narrator? I didn't think you would uh, be an intender of art, actually. It is adopted to shield us from agony and keep us away from the trap of consumerism. Minimalism is almost as nice as a vicious stepmother who tries to hide her ill intentions from the family. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the most strange example I ever heard about minimalism. <laughs> You know, it's almost as nice as which stepmother who tries to hide their heal intention from the family. What heal intention? You sit tight and watch. Within years, the result of this continuous subtraction will be seen all over the planet. There will be trees again and the monkeys eat their fruits. Okay, return to the past. To a brand new future, you dumbass. Oh, dare you. <laughs> So, every time we talk to the narrator, he just starts to offend us, more and more. I don't know why. <laughs> Are you like my conscience or something? I'm the only one who can call, who can call myself Dumbass, okay? <laughs> Complete. Okay, this is what we talked about, and this is a ring. Isn't this the ring that, that the child has in his head? Last chapter for this part. Let's go. Freedom of the Dumb. Oh my god, what the hell is this? This looks absolutely horrible. A song that is not allowed used to be sung here. I don't want to, to finish this chapter here. This looks very bad. Two weeks later. Today is the day of the parade ceremony. Junior student walks in pairs, carrying their little stool and heading to the square. The student performers line up on the stage. Some palm within those white gloves have ever become slightly sweaty out of anxiety. You weren't in the dormitory last night. 
and you weren't with us, Sonetto. But I guess uh, that was for the best. I don't know. I I think Sonetto is too manipulated by the foundation. Were you on duty yesterday? Yes, as I am today. Ooh. I know you are planning something behind the instructor's backs. Please do not act against any regulations stipulated in the student handbook. It's funny how Sonetto was so much against uh, Vertin uh, doing something uh, very dangerous on the back of the foundation and so on. I mean, uh, probably Sonetto in the present uh, is still someone assigned to Vertin just to take uh, uh, a look at her doings. Uh, but still, Sonetto in the present look more... Uh, more on the side of Vertin than the foundation. But it's nice to see this change of heart during the, the time, but I get, I'm starting to wonder what uh, actually happened for her to change uh, ideas uh, about Vertin. Otherwise, I'm obliged to report this to the instructor as the monitor student on duty. Okay. Those uh, are hovering above the square. The principal walks uh, onto the stage from the side stair. This can be clearly seen from the stage. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. We got this. Let's do this. Oh no. Good luck to us all. I'm so scared. I'm so scared for these children. I know this will be very bad. The whispering words of encouragement go from one to another and go on. Today, I am honored to be accompanied by the young representative of the St. Pavlov Foundation Committee, Miss C, the principal of our close partner, Mr. Claude Smith of Zeno Academy and the outstanding alumni who graduated last year. Oh my god, this is actually a very big uh, thingy. It's getting worse the more I'm, I'm seeing to this. Our annual parade ceremony. The parade ceremony where we show our best image and morale once a year. My god. Each year, the best students would be selected to take a three-month intense training and become the honor guard of our school and present the fabulous demeanor of our students. And now, everyone, the first part of the ceremony, school song. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to see this part. <laughs> Peace lives on. Oh no. Looking down the stage, many people sit in lines. Isabella is the leading singer, her voice is trampling. Aiuto. started to change the song what what are you singing mm. sonetto is in shock mesmer junior skip her lyrics and keep singing in her tender voice the voice is thin and hesitant at first but it later become gentler stronger and brighter and the principal sitting under the stage finally understand what they are singing. <gasps> what? What are they singing? This is actually a very cool moment. But it's so worse because I know there will be very bad consequence. Mister! Mister! They are singing that poem! The one on the back of the pamphlet! She almost loses her beautiful voice in shock. 
She sound too tired. Stop! You stop right now! Uh. Sopranos and tenors, stop right now! I forbid you to sing along! Sonetto, stop them! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What is she supposed to do? The song that should not have existed come out uh, from all around. From the front, the back, her left and her right. The sound of the unfamiliar lyrics engulf her like an inescapable trap. Oh my god, she she's probably so overwhelmed by this. Sonita has never felt her heart beating so fast. She become dizzy because of this. Sir, please listen to us. Please give us a chance. Let us be. Let us be ourselves. Oh my God. The principal face become pale. He turns to the security guard on the side. Get the car on the right, off the stage. Oh my god. Get the water pipe attached on the tap and prepare for the dumb bitter potion. <gasps> Was that the potion I read before? Let go of me. More security guards run onto the stage from the side stairs. Isabella standing on the fringes of the crowd has been taken down by the guards with their buttons. They can barely open their eyes in the spring potion. Isabella! Isabella looks at her. This tiny girl gives her a sad smile while being pushed and pulled around by the guards by her side. Protect Isabella! Oh my god. Oh my god! What is happening? This is not good at all. We need to protect the child at all cost. My fucking god, okay. Just as well. A tooth for They focus. Cheer up. Pay for thy sins with thy blood. Mmm. It's illegal. How can they attack children like this? This is really... This is really fucked up. It's not possible. Mmm. Just go on. We don't want to see this happening to children. We don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. This is too fucked up. Just leave the children alone. Let them sing what they want. Ah! Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. Please, hold your breath. Just as planned. An eye for an eye. Just take it as a trip to London. Bang. The law is above all else. Just as planned. Off thou go. Just in time. Step it up, everyone. Thou shalt make an atonement for thy sins. In full, hold your breath. Still not down. Wow. You're so resistant. Ah. For what? Okay, now you're down. A tooth for a tooth. Be serious. Stay focused. Just as well. Noble oh, lonely. Okay. 
Mm. My god, ultimate time. Just go down. And leave the children alone. I have prepared it all. Ok Behind them more and more people join in the singing Oh no This is going worse The bewildered and helpless children have finally come to realize The adults don't see the world as they do They only have each other in this With fear, anger and the feeling of being deprived of, of their right to know anything about the outside world for 12 years. Against the potion, they sing with crying voice and refuse to stop. The tear gas. My... Tear gas is here. Oh my fucking god. Watch out for the guard battens. Don't get <sighs> I said shoot it above them! Why did you shoot it at them? Did they attack the children directly? This is... Oh my fucking god! This is absolutely horrible! What the fuck? Oh my god! I, I don't feel good at all. It, it, it slipped in my hand. It slipped? What? It... This is a song with a surprising opening and a forbidden ending. The end of the farce. To be continued my ass. Oh my god. Oh fuck me. I knew I didn't I knew I didn't want to to be this the last chapter. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I feel so fucking bad right now. Okay. Well, I mean, at least the episode will be one after another. And I'm still going to record right now, so <laughs> there won't be so much sub so time uh, from thing to another for me and for you, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> But I'm still, I'm so shocked right now. <laughs> Can I go on? Okay, um, yeah, I knew it. That would be very, a very bad idea. Okay, uh, well, this is for all, this is all for this part. And I guess we'll see each other on the next video. <laughs> bye bye, guys.